Best overall performance. Let me zoom in a little bit on that. For best overall vehicle and engine performance, premium fuel with an octane rating of 91 or higher is recommended. The performance gain by using premium fuel is most noticeable in hot weather as well as other conditions. So yeah, man, you guys see that, man. You see what's in the menu. So a while ago, I posted this video on my Instagram. Hey, why the fuck is the gas so hot? Bitch, man, nobody been not ask for a ride at all. Shit, I might not even come outside. Why? Cause the motherfucking gas so hot. Hey, why the fuck? And these are some of the reactions that I got. So I put 93 premium in my truck. I just want to put in the high octane in the truck. Uh, at least it started off, and, but then as time went on, I was originally gonna go probably go back to 87, but I just kept putting 93 in. I don't know why. Uh, my truck is not tuned or none of that, and I also went off the manual. So the main reason why I'm making this video is because of the video I just shared with y'all. So uh, I want to do a test of my own to see like what was the difference between 87 and 93 premium as far as MPG wise. So let's just jump right into it. So today's video pretty much is gonna be some of the previous videos that I've shot uh, of me uh, running 93 premium or I've just recently shot this this is actually like my first time putting 87 in the truck I know man some of y'all gonna kill me in the comments but whatever I don't, it don't matter but I do feel like a 0 to 60 would be a waste of time but at the same time we already in the truck plus I need to get some of this gas out of here so the hell with it why not let's go ahead and do one So I will say, I guess the 0 to 60 is nothing like E85. It's, it's amazing what a little bit of fuel can do and change. <laughs> but it was still pretty good. But what I will say is really not much of a difference between the 87 and the 93. If I'm being completely honest, at least I don't feel a difference. It may be a slight gain, but I, I really don't think it's much at all, to be honest. Now, I'm going to show you in just a second what my MPG has been so far running 87. But, and that might surprise you as far as the difference between the uh, 87 and the 93. So right here you guys can see, um, it just went up, it actually just went up right when I parked. It was actually saying 11.7 um, and earlier yesterday it was like 11.5. Now I'm going to show you guys what I was getting when I was running uh, premium fuel in the truck. You can see I did this over two tanks right here. Um, I'm averaging 14 miles per gallon basically over two tanks. As you see right there, I was getting about 14.1. Actually, you can see during the whole trip mile right here, 4,000 miles, um, I've been averaging 13.1. Most of those miles are from when I was running premium. So now you'll see uh, me when I was, obviously the last couple of videos with me running E85. You'll see, I have to believe with the E85, I was getting about 11.2 uh, miles per gallon. .7. At one point it was saying like 11, 11.2, but it actually went down a little bit. So with that being said, as you can see with the premium, 
you do save a little bit as far as miles per gallon um, to the tank. So is that worth paying the high dollar for premium fuel to put in your truck? Um, right now with these gas prices, no, it's definitely not worth it. Now with previous before, before the gas prices spike, now you may, it may, I ain't gonna say it would have been worth it, but it, you know what I'm saying, but it might have been, it can help you out a little bit. Specifically for the guys that, that was on my, on that video where I showed the main thing I hated about lifting my F-150, I put that card up here somewhere, but they are averaging way less. They was getting like 10 miles to the gallon, or even some, in some cases, I've seen some guys say they was getting like nine, and that, and that is like wild to me. And so uh, for me, I would say, if I was some of you, I would probably consider just trying the 93 and just try it out to see exactly what your MPG will be if you put premium in it compared to the 87. I think I'm gonna, I'm definitely not going <laughs> to the premium because like I say, the gas price is too high right now. And I actually like, I actually enjoy the E85. So I'm definitely gonna go back and fill up with E85. And you see, I'm trying to run this tank out right now of this uh, 87. So, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys, man. I do plan on tuning the truck at some point. I'm still trying to figure out when, when I wanna do that. Yeah, man, but that's pretty much all I have for you guys. Uh, be sure to like this video, comment down below, let me know your thoughts. And the main thing, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Um, like I said, we're going to continue to grow, man. We're going to keep doing these type of videos. If you have any suggestions on videos you would like to see, let me know down in the comments below. I'll try and get that done for you all. And that's it. So, I'll catch y'all on the next one.